Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be picking out a full face of makeup blindfolded. A few weeks ago, I filmed a similar video where I picked out an entire outfit blindfolded and in the comments, a few of you guys requested that I do the same thing with makeup. Now at first, I thought that it would be really difficult because makeup relies so heavily on the color choices, but then I thought maybe through deductive reasoning, touch and my knowledge of how makeup products are usually laid out in a store, we might actually be able to pull this off. So my plan is basically to pick out one of everything that I need for a full face of makeup. And just to keep the experiment honest, whatever I choose something as is how I'm going to wear it. Like if I pick out a concealer as lipstick, I have to wear that concealer as lipstick. I feel like last time when I was picking out an outfit, I was hoping that fate would bring me to some new styles, but this time I'm mostly focused on just getting the products right and we'll see what fate has in store for me in terms of how it looks. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm about to pick out a full face of makeup products blindfolded. A big shout out to NYX for letting us film in their store today. So what I need today are some base products like foundation and concealer, some face powders like blush, contour, highlighter, some eye products like eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, some eyebrows, and some lip stuff. All right, give me the basket. Thank you. Want me to spin you around? Is it just right behind me, right? Okay. Walking into the store. I don't know what I think just telling the world is gonna, oh, this is what it's gonna do. It's gonna help me find this thing. <laughs> this is probably a display that shows like new stuff. Oh, sorry, did I just bump? Oh, no, that's the wall. I thought I just bumped butts with someone. I was like, oh, okay, these feel like new products, so I'm not gonna open them up. I think I'm gonna pass on these. I think this is gonna be a, a level of difficulty I have not yet reached. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. What I'm hoping for, is like a display with individual products so I can open things up, swatch it, and feel the packaging and that type of thing. Um, what on earth? Oh, I think that these are refills for eyeshadow palettes. Cause I can't imagine what else they would be. I don't think I want these, but based on the fact I think that these are like eyeshadow refills, I think I'm near eye stuff. So that's a good first clue. Let me go down. All right, we've got, is this a new product or a tester? Uh, it's a tester. Oh yeah, this is definitely a palette. I can feel like the dividers. Now I guess the question is, do I want to be getting a single eyeshadow or do I want to be getting like more of like a little palette so I can like have some um, flexibility? A little cut crease action? Is that what a cut crease is? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, this feels like a small size palette. You picked that up so fast. I don't want to spend too much time on any one type of product, especially because at some point after I think that I've identified what it is, like I can't do much more beyond that. So I'm pretty sure this is a six pan eyeshadow palette. It isn't the first thing I picked up. It is the second thing and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I'm going to go with this. Will you help me grab the real product, not the tester? Oh yeah, sorry. And then we don't have that one. They don't have it? No. This is not in stock, so, um, you know, uh, back to the wall, I suppose. <laughs> oh, is this a similar product? I think this will work. It's the same thing I just picked up, but in a different color. All right, I'm putting this into my basket. One down, it's a lot to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going this way and try to find more eye things. Aha, these feel like pencils. Yep, that could be an eyeliner pencil. Usually I go for liquid eyeliner, but it's a good sign that these pencils are here because that means that I'm in the right direction. They could be lip liners, but I'm going with the idea that they're eyeliners. It's hard for me to tell what these things are. Oh, that is a eyeliner marker, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting closer. Where did this come from? Help me. Can I come with you? Why? I wanna know where I just was so oh, I can okay. keep looking from there. My best guess as to what, oh. Oh, there's a wall here. Yeah, there's, there's your Whiskey Tango Foxtrot right there. Oh, could this be? This feels like the right amount of shaft length to tube. Because I feel like with the liquid eyeliner, you need a long brush and you've got like a small amount of product at the bottom. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, oh, I feel nothing. There's no brush. All right, so I guess I'm gonna have to gamble. To be fair, this does feel like it could be eyeliner product over here. It feels like a little bit watery, a little bit sticky. Oh, are these colorful? I feel like they're colorful because there are so many of them next to each other. Cause I feel like usually if it was like a black eyeliner, there'd be like two. Okay, well, I guess I've been led to these colorful eyeliners. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it's kind of like right in the middle. So I'm hoping that it is a middle of the road choice. It feels like I felt like this whole display already. Cause I feel, keep like trying to feel around for mascara and for eyebrow products, but I keep picking up the same things. So I'm gonna go around the wall and see what's on the other side. Oh, oh, we're here. 
We've arrived. Oh, we're on the wall. Is this lip stuff? No, it feels a little too skinny to be lip stuff. Oh, what's this? I think that this could be a brow product. Oh yeah? Yeah, let me see what's on the other side. Oh wait, what? I would thought this was gonna be a spoolie. What is this? Okay, I thought that was a brow product. The other side threw me off entirely. All right, I'm feeling around more, just hoping to find a mascara and a brow. Oh, this could be a mascara. These feel like the right size to be mascaras. There's no brush at the end, but that feels like mascara. That's really all I got. I choose this mascara. I think it's mascara. I think. All right, where is eyebrows? I feel like these could be brow products, but it's kind of hard for me to tell. I'm like looking for like a good sign that this is definitely a brow product. Oh, <laughs> this one gave itself away. There's a spoolie at the end of this. I'm guessing these go from light to dark. I'm gonna go with the second to darkest. So this is the eyebrow pencil I chose. Finally found that spoolie. All right, that's my eye stuff. Now I'm gonna go forth and try and find more things. Oh, these are brushes. Brushes, brushes, brushes. Oh, let me see what this thing is. This could be lips. Oh no, but this is quite chunky to be a lip. This product is mystifying me. I don't think I'm gonna take a gamble on this guy because I think it's too confusing. What else do we have? Nope, that's the same thing. I don't want that. Oh, large palettes. Is there a tester for this thing? That's it. Okay, there's three pans and they're quite big. I think that this is like a contouring palette. I don't want this guy, but I, I know where I am now, I think. So these are intriguing to me because these feel like double-sided something somethings. I think that these could be like highlighter contours. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. If we've got six colors for face products, I'm not gonna be the lightest one probably. So I'm gonna go for number two out of six. I'm gonna go for this one. All right, so right now you are right next to the register. That's Hello. Hi. Is there anyone waiting in line? There's no one waiting in line. You can walk right through. Ah. So display right there. That would have been an easy one to knock over. Yeah, that would have been bad. We wouldn't have been invited As back. As you saw, they're very friendly to us right now, but, but that could change. Yeah, it could sour very quickly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just do like a kind of like a personal space barrier thing, and then just oh, this is the wall again. So if I'm right and I've already got like a contour and highlight little thingy, what I need from like a face area would be like a blush and like a highlighter. If what I think is right, then I think that that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? Based on what I'm feeling, I don't think I'm in the lip section. I think I'm near like more face powders. This is not a tester, but this feels like about the right size to be like a blush. I do have a couple NYX blushes and I do feel this little like opener. I think it might be the same product. Now it is nearly impossible for me to figure out like what color anything is. Um, and by nearly, I mean completely. I'm just gonna go for this one. This is the blush, hopefully, that I choose. I feel like the only way I'll be able to distinguish a like highlighter is if it's a liquid one. So I wonder if there is like a little bit of like a liquid highlight that we could find. Hmm? Oh, no, that's wrong. What are these? This could either be like a primer situation or it could be like a liquid highlighter of some type. I guess it could be a foundation. I guess it could be a really dewy foundation. All right, how many of them are there? Three, four. Doesn't feel like foundations would only have four. I feel like there's a good chance this is either a liquid bronzer, blush, or highlighter. Out of four colors, I'm gonna go for color number two. All right, so it feels like the wall is like my savior. So I'm gonna keep on going down the wall and feel what else I can feel. Oh, the land of tubes. Could I be near a foundation area? I think I could. And there do seem to be a lot of them. So this could be like the shade range that I'm looking for. Let's count them and see. One, two, three, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's more. So there's 30 of them. I think that this has gotta be foundation. What else would there be 30 of in a row that's like this size, like that's like a tube like this. Kind of going with like the same way I picked out the contour. Like I would say like, I'm definitely not 15. 15's dab in the middle. I'm not that tan. Maybe I'd put myself at like number eight. Hopefully foundation. <laughs> Hopefully somewhat of the right color. I'm gonna just keep feeling along this wall, see if we can't find a concealer of some kind. I feel like these are like little tubes. I think these are gonna have to be concealers. Let me see if I can find like a, a big display of them so I can try and do the counting method again. These feel like maybe these are the concealers that go with my foundation because they've got the like tubing aspect. One, two, three, 18, 19. I must have missed one. There must be 20. Out of 20, I'm gonna pick up number six. I don't think I'm 10. That's like true tan medium and like maybe number six is right because it's like a little bit more medium than number five. So all we have left is lips. So I'm gonna go out into the great beyond 
and see if I can find anything, any, any lip products of any kind. Oh, I'm sorry, I touched something. Oh, interesting. I, I kind of like touched my hand like this and I got nervous, but I think that these are lipsticks. I feel like fate has brought me to this display. Five, six, seven. I think I'm gonna go for this one. I feel like picking like number four out of seven gives me a good shot at it being like a middle of the road type of color. When in doubt for things that aren't like supposed to be my skin color, I'm picking like right in the middle. Is that the last thing we need? I think that is the last thing that we need. So we're gonna go check out, buy these guys, and then I'm gonna see what I have to work with. And uh, then I'm gonna put them on my face tomorrow and try and make it a makeup look. Look at your wow. eye makeup. Oh, it's like a whole new world in here. Okay, so this is what I got. Yes, and this okay. is in order. So this is your eyeshadow. Okay, there we go, six pans. This is your eyeliner. Oh, it's blue. <laughs> it is very blue. That's your mascara, eyebrow pencil. This is your contour. Blush, that maybe a little bit red, but workable. Blush. So this was like a liquid highlighter. It does look maybe like a little bit peachy, but it's a highlighter. Then next was the foundation, right? Yes. Okay, so 04.5 soft sand. It looks kind of dark in the bottle, but with this stuff, I feel like we could probably make it work. So that's your concealer then. Okay, cool, concealer, got it. And this is your lipstick. Oh, it's orange? It's a metallic copper? Wow, okay, interesting. The thing I'm most excited about is that I seem to have chosen all the products as the right products. But, you know, the color combos are gonna be, they're gonna be a choice. Okay, so it is the next day. I've been editing most of the day and I just uploaded a video, so I'm finally ready to put on some makeup and go explore the world. The first thing I'm gonna start with is this micro brow pencil in the color Espresso. All right, so let me get in with this spoolie. Oh yeah. Here is the tip of the micro brow pencil. Pretty brown, pretty brownish. That's okay though, we can definitely work with this. It's kind of a soft brow, romantic, almost like a, a caterpillar in heat. Maybe I should have gone for the, the last color. Maybe I needed the like true darkest black, but it's close enough that it doesn't look crazy. Okay, so I did my second brow. Overall with both of them done, I think it's looking pretty decent, especially from far away can't tell. So I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadow. This is my eyeshadow palette. It's called the Lid Lingerie. It doesn't have a name. I think it's just called Lid Lingerie. All right, that's fine. I feel like off the bat, these shades are kind of calling my name. We just gotta think ahead to the blue eyeliner. So I feel like beige and purple and brown will work well. So it looks like I've got all of my eyeshadow colors on my eyes. So I'm just gonna blend, just gonna blend the shit out of it. Windshield wiper. I don't think I blended it perfectly but it's close. So I'm going to dive straight into the complexion products. So I picked this Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in the color uh, Soft Sand. And then I also got uh, for my complexion this Gotcha Covered Concealer in um, the color beige. I love me some beige, some parchment, anything that implies something that you could find at the post office. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, interesting. It's lighter than it looked in the tube. All right, and then here is the foundation. Oh! Oh yeah, a little on the tan side for sure. I think if I just blend it together, I think it'll probably work. Yeah, It's kind of just making me look alive. Like, foundation matches have been worse. They've definitely been better, but they've been worse. Okay, so next is highlight and contour. This is it. It's called the Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. Okay, so I'm gonna take my contouring and do a little sculpting. Mm, that's uneven, and that's unfortunate. So next I'm gonna go in with my highlighting side. I'm just gonna, boom. Oh yeah, that clown contour though. I mean highlight. It's been a while since I did liquid highlight and contour, but I feel like this is generally the vibe. And then we shall blend. That is an intense contour, but we're going with it. So next I'm gonna like set everything down with some setting powder. Just realized I forgot my liquid highlighter, but um, We'll put that on after this. Okay, so next I'm gonna do eyeliner, which is this Vivid Brights eyeliner in the color Vivid Sapphire. She looks quite blue, but um, let's see how it is on the face. Well, I got some blue on my boobs. Can you see it? There it is. Now that that's there, I think we can put it on the eyes. Okay, that is very blue, but it's kind of fun. I've probably done better eyeliner in my life, but I feel like actually it works pretty well with the like sort of neutral eye. All right, so now that my eyeliner is done, I'm gonna brush off my baking powder. Before I forget, let's do the mascara. Okay, cool. Next up, let's do blush. I chose this HD blush in the color Pink the Town. Do I own this already? Yep. I already own it. <laughs> there it is, there they both are. 
Um, good. Let's just do a little bit of blush, like right here, and let's all smiley. Oh yeah, look like a little uh, cherubim. And then I kind of forgot about this, my liquid highlighter, Born to Glow. All right, so here's this. It's a little pinkish, it's a little on the pink side, so maybe it'll pair well with Pink the Town. I know you're not supposed to put like liquid stuff on top of powders, but it's all happening so fast. There it is, there it is. Oh yeah, see it doesn't look so bad. And then last, but certainly not least, is the lipstick. Oh wow, oh this look turned from Ravenclaw to like patriotic real fast. Don't I look like someone's like 4th of July tutorial? Okay, with the addition of the lipstick, I think this is our entire look. So um, I'm gonna take my hair down and let's go to some different lighting and see how we like it. So this is my blindfolded makeup look. I'm overall pretty pleased with it. Like it definitely could have been worse. I don't think I would wear these things all together again, but I think that everything that I got is usable by itself. And I actually like the eye look as is. I wasn't so sure about the blue eyeliner to begin with, but I actually really like that and like the matte neutral shadows together. So like you just looked at this part. It's interesting because it seems like the items that could have gone the most wrong, like the complexion products, actually ended up being okay. And it was more like the eyes and the lips, which have more creative liberties, that ended up putting the look more into the over the top category. But all in all, it was a fun challenge and I can definitely see myself using all of the individual products by themselves. In some ways, it was more successful than the blindfolded outfit challenge because I ended up with a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally get. We had all black outfit when we picked an outfit blindfolded and now we have this. whatever this is. Yeah, it looks like Sophia made out with an American flag. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Anith for watching. Thanks for watching Anith, and I will see you guys a next time.